Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create VHD and VHDX virtual disk files in Windows. So these could be used for various things. Let's say you want to have like a, a separate hard drive with, a, with its own letter and you don't want to have to partition a current drive to kind of cut it up into pieces to get that. Um, so you could think of a VHD or VHDX file as kind of like a zip file maybe where you have multiple files contained in one file. Then you could actually detach that VHD file and mount it on another computer and have your files um, come with it. So VHD is the older style, VHDX is the newer style, and you can have bigger uh, VHDX files than VHD, and then you can do like dynamic, I think, resizing with VHDX and other advanced features that you can't do with VHD. So you could create these within Windows, but we're going to use a third-party tool called VHD Manager. So it's just a zip file, free download, and then once you extract it, you just run the executable. Just like that. All right, so we have this physical drive that's in this computer, 120 gigs, nothing on it. And that's where we're going to place our uh, virtual disk files. You could put them there too, but we're just gonna do this for testing. All right, so once we're in it, all you gotta do, if you hover over each thing, it'll kind of tell you what it does here. We're gonna go to the create option here. So create and attach a VHD file. So let's do, let's say a 10 gigabyte, VHDX dynamically expanding where it'll won't use the space until you start adding files to it compared to fixed where it uses up the space when you make it. Kind of like with a virtualization, if you're doing that, um, same type of thing applies when you're making uh, virtual disk files for your virtual machines. All right, so click on create and attach VHD. Ask to where you want to save it. We're going to save it in that E drive there. So we'll call this 10G VHDX. Okay, so it wants to mount it and as drive F there, we'll call this 10G. Okay, so now we have it mounted there. It's on the E drive, so that's the location of the disk image file, but it's mounted as the F drive. So if we go back here, you can see we have the F drive with 10 gigs free because that's the size of the disk, but you notice we still have uh, all of our 120 gigs free, even though this is a 10 disk gig file. So if we open up the drive where we mounted this file or created this file, you'll see here it is. And it's only using 131K right now because there's nothing on it. All right, so now what if we put something on this new F drive, which is a virtual disk file? I have this uh, ISO file here, which is about five gigs. Just copy this over. Okay, go back to uh, this PC. So now you can see we have five gigs used on our virtual disk file, and then also five gigs used on our total space on the E drive, since technically this is part of this. All right, so let's take a little screenshot of that for the next step here. Okay, so let's go back to our disk manager here, our VHD manager. So let's do another new one. I'll make this five, make this a VHD and fixed, create and attach. So we'll call this 5G VHD. We're putting in the same E drive. Okay, so it wants to mount it here. We'll call it that, quick format. Okay, so now we have our five gig virtual disk mounted as disk G. So let's go back here. Uh, so here's our five gigs with nothing on it. Here's our original 10 gigs. So now you notice before on our data drive, our physical drive where we're storing the virtual disk, we had 114 free and now we have 109. So it used that five gigs of space on this E drive, even though there's nothing on this G drive yet. So that's the difference when you make the dynamic 
uh, com compared to the fix. So this will take up space on this drive as it's filled up. This uses all of its space immediately, even if you have no files on there. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so going back here, if you right-click a file, you could detach it, remove it, uncheck it, open location, check its properties. Then if you have other VHDs or VHDX, you want to add them to this list, you could do them from here. You could remove from the list. Uh, there's a context menu. So if you want to add some options for the context menu for right-clicking, you could do that here. Refresh. Open a disk management. If we scroll down here, you can see here's our 10 and our 5, disk 2 and disk 3, just like that. You could also detach them from here, too, if you want. So now, since this these are attached, what happens if we reboot the computer? So let's try that right now. Okay, so we're rebooted, so let's run the program again here. So you can see the files are there, the virtual disk files, but they're not attached. And if we go to uh, this PC, they're not showing up there either. So what you could do for that, first let's attach them. Right click, attach. Now you have the options attached, marked to system startup. So if you, whatever ones you have checked here, it'll mark those for system startup. Just like that. So now when you restart the computer, they'll stay attached. And so now if we go back here, you can see we have our files there. Okay, so now let's say what happens if you don't want to uh, use them anymore. Is if you try and delete them. So we go here, let's try and delete this 5 gig. It says it's in use, so you can't do that. But what you have to do first, let's uh, detach them here. Now let's go back. And just like that, if we go back to this PC, we have all of our space free. And if we refresh this list here, you can see it has a question mark because it doesn't know where it is, so we just need to remove them from the list there. So hopefully that makes sense. You might have to watch this more than once to kind of get the gist of it, but... Um, like I said, it's an easy way to create your VHD files. I'll put a link in the description of how you could do it using the uh, standard Windows method without using this app here, and then you can see which one you like better and take it from there. And I'll also put a link in the description where you could download the VHD manager as well. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.